here's another example of uh, blocked technology. I can't give it any other name. Uh, this uh, company is uh, started by a guy that 25 years ago made his car run on ammonia. Ammonia is uh, nitrogen and hydrogen. It's a combination of the two. And you can very efficiently uh, uh, use it as your fuel. Uh, and it's much smarter to use if you talk about the hydrogen in it than using hydrogen. And uh, this is the and this is let's say the scary part of the block technology. Uh, of course, this is a very nice looking company that tells us they have years of experience in uh, in uh, changing cars into uh, to run on uh, on hydro fuel, as this guy uh, calls it. And then that they have uh, uh, a mountain of uh, patent spending on the technology, and that I don't like to hear because that means that it will be herded that it will be protected information and this is very well uh, well hit as an invention uh, this guy there's a movie on uh, on uh, on uh, on youtube Whoa. about this car and uh, sorry felt a man ahead of the time and he was this is just a guy who worked on his car until he got it to run on the hydrogen that comes out of the out of the uh, ammonia fueled by what Vezina named hydrofuel, essentially ammonia, which is a mix of hydrogen with a little nitrogen. Yeah, so, and it's very simple. And if you look at, uh, at, at the efficiency of that, then you'll be amazed, because here you have uh, a list of, uh, of different fuels, and here's hydrogen, that's been touted as uh, super smart, and you should really use it. The amount of energy per uh, per ki kilogram, uh, on, uh, number of uh, kilowatt hours, and per liter. And then you go down the list and you see propane. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, LPG, kind of methanol, and here nitrogen or ammonia. I mean, 145 uh, is the energy per liter compared to hydrogen, 0.28. So if this is 3 and this is uh, 1.5, then it's 5 times more uh, storage capacity per liter with use of ammonia in cars. And if this burns, then of course you get nitrogen, but the atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, and you get water. So it's very clean burning, just like uh, hydrogen uh, in itself. But this is just disgusting. It's just disgusting that you have an industry proposing to use hydrogen, which is the lowest lowest energy fuel in the list, which is very hard because you have to compress it, you have to keep it in tanks and it creeps through uh, all kinds of materials, so it, it's a very small molecule, so it's very hard to keep in your tank. While, as you can see in the video, this guy, he has, uh, let's see, he just has a, this, yes. This is this is common technology. It's everywhere. It's ammonia tank. It's nothing special, and he can use it in his car. And it's just disgusting. And this is block technology. This is when you know that you're being messed around with as a consumer. You're being told that they um, need multi-million dollars to fix the problem of the hydrogen being too uh, thin and uh, and too hard to compress, and then the energy density be being too low. You're being robbed of billions, literally. To, to fix that problem while you have ammonia uh, which has every property you need you can just fuel, fuel your car up with ammonia and it's cheaper per gallon uh, than, uh, than fuel, than common fuel and of course people will say oh no ammonia it's, it stinks and it's, uh, it's dangerous well how about hydrogen, you know you solve that problem you solve the problem with, uh, with uh, normal regular uh, fuel you know, it's everywhere. You got uh, liquid uh, uh, natural gas in your car. That's not a problem. And this <laughs> ammonia has been around for for a decennia, for almost a century. And everybody knows how to deal with that. It's not a problem. So this is block technology, and it really disgusts me uh, to see that this guy, this guy in the video, he it tells exactly what happened. Imagine this vehicle sits yeah. idle, of all but disappeared for the world's energy woes. But he says, shortly after his appearance on Parliament Hill back in 81, interest in his idea all but disappeared. 
Vezina speculates it's because the government owned Petro Canada, so there wasn't much political will to develop alternative fuels. What do I say? I mean, you know. You, you see, so the government made money uh, selling oil, and because they didn't want to lose that, they blocked his uh, his idea. Well, of, and this is in the 80s. <laughs> Can you imagine if if the government had at that time, and of course the oil lobby, which have been, uh, of course, uh, I guess that should be the major. The co oil company is, of course, to blame the people in the oil company. Could you imagine if they had decided to switch to ammonia? Uh, then, how how much better it would have been? Because you would not have any carbon dioxide released by cars. Uh, in the last 20 years uh, and now if you look at this company here it looks very uh, high-tech and that's because people don't know about some technology they think it's it's difficult uh, you know everything that they don't know about is probably has to have a kind of a ramped up uh, research uh, program to work on it until it's uh, it's viable for it doesn't have to be like that at all and it's just hocus pocus and it doesn't really look very good to me because if they hold patents and they're gonna enforce them and block the technology <laughs> again from the from the main public then uh, you know you have to you have to do something you have to take action between uh, you have to if somebody talks about hydrogen fuel to you and says it's it's the solution give him a smack on the on, on his face because he's a liar